Hey, Groovy Man, it's 1970s trivia. Let's go get most smartest. What did President Nixon ban from TV and radio in 1970? Humphrey ads, cigarette ads, tape recorder ads, or hotel ads? Cigarette ads. Many would argue that this is the only good thing he did while in office. In 1975, this now giant computer company was founded. Google, Dell, Microsoft, or Corel. It was Microsoft. They were founded by Paul Allen and Bill Gates. What should you do right now? Subscribe, like, share, or comment on my video. Hey, that's groovy that you did that. Thanks. Starting May 25th, 1977, movie theaters across the country had crazy long lines. Why? Tickets were free, Star Wars premiered, The Godfather opened, or Rocky Horror Picture Show started. The original Star Wars premiered. It is one of the first films to be chosen for the National Film Registry. In 1979, McDonald's introduced this now iconic menu item nationwide. The Royale with cheese, the Big Mac, the McRib, or the Happy Meal. The Happy Meal and the nutritional habits of children have never been the same. In 1973, the then tallest building in the world was completed in Chicago. What was it called? World Trade, Stratosphere, Burj Khalifa, or Sears Tower? It was the Sears Tower. It is now the Willis Tower, and Sears is long gone. In 1970, the first ever jumbo jet flew from New York to London. What kind of plane was it? Concorde, a Boeing 747, Spruce Goose, or the Airbus A330. It was a Boeing 747. 2022 will be the end of the 747s. Still active to this day, 1978 saw the arrival of this feline on funny pages. Grumpy Cat, Azrael, Garfield, or Build a Cat. Garfield, of course. He still loves lasagna and messing with Odie. On July 1st, 1979, Sony gave music legs. How so? They introduced the Betamax, put a boombox on wheels, introduced the Walkman, or came to the United States. They introduced the Walkman. It was an immediate success and changed the way we listen to music. On July 20th, 1976, the first ever touchdown on Mars occurred by what? The Space Shuttle, Viking 1, Hubble, or Apollo 13? It was Viking 1. Viking 1 was operational on Mars for six years and 116 days. April 30th, 1975 was an historic day for the US in regards to the Vietnam War. What happened? Last Americans left, the fall of Saigon, the U.S. Embassy raided, or the draft ends. The last Americans left, 10 Marines. What television event aired from January 23rd through 30th, 1977? Bobby Ewing's death, Shogun, Centennial, or Roots? It was Roots. The series earned 36 Emmy nominations and won nine. In January 1973, the NFL experienced 17 0 0 for the only time. What does that mean? Record timeouts in one game, Miami's undefeated season, teams moving cities, or touchdown passes in one game. Miami Dolphins undefeated season. 
It was in the decade of the 1970s, but what year saw the release of Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody? 1976, 1979, 1971, or 1975? It was 1975 and it was on the album A Night at the Opera. In 1970, the Chiefs won the Super Bowl, the Orioles won the World Series, the Bruins got the Stanley Cup, but who won the NBA title? The Bulls, the Celtics, the Lakers, or the Knicks? It was the New York Knicks. They beat the Lakers four games to three. ABC premiered two long-lasting shows in 1970, All My Children and What Else? Gunsmoke, Perry Mason, Sesame Street, or Monday Night Football. Monday Night Football, over 50 years later and it's still going strong. In 1974, the 3.2 million year old bones of a female relative of humans were discovered in Ethiopia. What is she commonly called? Lucy, Barb, AL 288 1, or Ethiopia 3.2? Lucy. Lucy was named after the 1967 Beatles song Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. On August 16th, 1977, the music world was rocked by the death of Fats Domino. Elvis Presley, Jimi Hendrix, or Jim Morrison. It was Elvis. Believe it or not, Elvis was only 42 when he died. In 1972, Atari released the forerunner of video games. What was it called? Ping, Burger Time, Pong, or Odyssey? Pong. The first video game was actually Birdie the Brain, constructed in 1950. In June 1974, the first UPC barcode was scanned. What was the item? Lay's Wavy Potato Chips, Tang Astronaut Drink, Wrigley's Chewing Gum, or a bag of Gala Apples? Wrigley's Chewing Gum. It was at Marsha's Supermarket in Troy, Ohio. Burt Reynolds skyrocketed to stardom after his appearance in the January 1972 edition of Cosmopolitan magazine. Why? He was nude, he was interviewed, he was with Sally Field, or he had a tour of his home. He was nude! This issue is still one of Cosmo's biggest sellers. On April 10th, 1970, the Beatles broke up after the announced departure of Pete Best, Ringo Starr, Paul McCartney or George Harrison. Paul McCartney. In October 2021, McCartney stated that it was actually John Lennon. Two iconic foods appeared on grocery shelves in 1970. Orville Redenbacher popcorn and Hamburger Helper, Pringles, Chef Boyardee, or Betty Crocker cake mix. It was Hamburger Helper. It originated as a way for families to stretch a pound of hamburger. On April 11th, 1970, Houston had a problem with what? Apollo 13, Apollo 11, Skylab, or the Space Shuttle? Apollo 13. The crew had to fight for their lives for three and a half days. The most popular hairstyle for women in the 70s was called the Farah. What show did it come from? Wonder Woman, Charlie's Angels, Star Trek, or Dynasty? Charlie's Angels. Farah looked amazing in that feathered cut. Released on June 1st, 1970 in the US, this group's first album is considered the first heavy metal album. Black Sabbath, Judas Priest, Guns N' Roses, or Metallica. Black Sabbath. Tony Iommi says that the group recorded this album in one day. 
According to Billboard, what is the number one selling song of the 10 years of the 1970s? How Deep Is Your Love by the Bee Gees, Silly Love Songs by Wings, Let's Get It On by Marvin Gaye, or You Light Up My Life by Debbie Boone. Believe it or not, Debbie Boone's You Light Up My Life. Look back up at the screen again. There's more trivia. Click it. Click it now. Let's see how you do.